Good evening, I'm Cherise Skipson. And I'm Katie Moore. This afternoon, New Orleans lost an icon, Fifth Ward Weeby, who died of complications after he had undergone surgery for a ruptured artery. He was just 42 years old. Yeah, we knew him as Fifth Ward Weeby. Yeah. We all loved his music, mm -hmm. but his family knew him as Jeremy Cozy. He was a man who loved his family. He loved his son, and most importantly, he loved music. So he had everyone dancing on the dance floor, and I will tell you this, some of those dances we got in trouble for from some Songs like Shake It Like a Dog, which came out when I was a kid. I know, shouldn't have danced to it, but I had a good time. You couldn't help it. And songs like Let Me Find Out. He even gave us a song that would sum up the feelings of all of us that were affected by Hurricane Katrina. Now, I can't see that song on television, not very family friendly, but he definitely made an impact on the bounce genre and most certainly made an impact on the city of New Orleans. And he will truly, truly be missed. New Orleans has many cultural ambassadors, and Fifth Ward Weeby, one of the originators of bounce music, was definitely one of them. Say love, I'm like Collaborating with musical legends, from PJ Morton to Snoop Dogg, his unique twist to bounce music attracted some of America's biggest stars, drawing them in to a sound that was naturally New Orleans. Hey, let me find out your best friend took your man. But the city of New Orleans was in shock to learn the larger-than-life personality, whose music moved to generations, was pronounced dead at only 42 years old. And those who knew and loved him and his music mourned the only way we know how in New Orleans. Everything he touched, New Orleans loved it. I've been knowing about his music since being in high school. We played a bunch of his music, even in my college band, way out in Texas. Man, we're gonna miss him for real. We're gonna, that's why we all out here. We're gonna cut up for weaving. <laughs> Within hours of learning of Fifth Ward Weeby's death, the community poured into the streets in front of the Zulu Club. As the second line started and time went by, hundreds gathered dancing in celebration of the man who would leave a lasting impression on the bounce genre. He just brought the energy, you know. He just got that energy, that infectious smile. It was an energy we've experienced here at WWL many times. Let me find out to still rock and flip phone. Fifth Ward Weeby has sat down with our Sheba Turk before. They've exchanged laughter, fun, and dreams. Hey, you got something on your bucket list yet? Yeah. That's TV deliverable? Yeah, I need to, I need to win a Grammy. Yeah, I need to we'll go be get waiting my for it. That's not far off. And he was almost there as the bounce genre began to spread across the nation, attracting the likes of platinum selling artist Drake. Fifth Ward Weeby would make a cameo on the Nice for What hit song. The song spent weeks at number one on Billboard's Hot 100. New Orleans, we know, we know how to take things and make the best out of them and do what we do. And while the city is hurting behind the loss of another New Orleans musical legend, it is making the best by remembering the smiles that he shared and the way he made us dance. And he most definitely made a stance. Many of you are reaching out on social media, um, including uh, Mayor Latoya Cantrell here. She posted these pictures and even video dancing with Fifth Ward Weeby online, saying that he was an iconic personality and a beloved friend who showed us how to move and how to love. Wendell Pierce uh, posted his own tribute, calling him a true Wody, if you know what that means, who stopped him in his tracks whenever he saw him. And Snoop Dogg posted this on his Instagram, saying, thank you for letting me rock with you. We most certainly love him. We cherish the memories that he left us with. And our own Sheba Turk had the honor of hanging out with him just last month for her segment, Another View, that was set to air next Thursday. We will still air it next week in his honor, along with a special tribute. Now, for continuing coverage on the tragic passing of Fifth Ward Weeby, including second lines and funeral plans, just head on over to our website, wwltv.com.